here in the Weather Center with meteorologist Andy Parker. Beautiful day, and it has been a busy week for the weather machine. Yeah, we were able to get it out again, this time the Sweet Home <laughs> District, and we took all the kids from Glendale up to the middle school because they have a beautiful auditorium, and we made a mess, a weather mess. Take a look. Uh, look at the eyeballs on this young man. We asked him to hold down and fill up the weather balloon. <laughs> that was so much fun. They didn't know what was going to Look at this. I love the expression. Uh, on those student scientists out there. That's what we're going for, right? A captive audience, and then uh, this is, uh, we don't sit on our hands when we do the weather machine. Everybody gets out of their seat, and hopefully we don't cause too much of a crowd. Hey, there's the principal, Jolene. She's getting involved there as well. A lot of friends, relatives, teachers uh, hanging out along the edges, and we welcome the community into that one. And uh, it was time to talk about the sun. Needed that today. Did you guys get some sun out there bit, today? A little bit, a little bit. A little bit. We did some for her, and then we spun up this and uh, clouded it up pretty good inside the weather machine until you couldn't even see. After that, we took the clouds out to the kids. That is always fun. That was Lindsay in the fog, by the way. And then uh, Jessica, we we're about to make her hair get really messed up. Today was a bad hair day, no doubt about it. Look at these young kids waiting to hold on to the clouds. That is so much fun to do that. And uh, they learn a lot about evaporation and condensation. And, and you gotta uh, bring some of that here to the studio. <laughs> I know, I know. And then uh, this is Brennan. He got the touch of tornado. He didn't think there was gonna be one in there, but we explained why your eyes may not always be the best test. That's why science is there. You have a hypothesis. And then uh, you're gonna see a young man here standing on this, Skyler. I only gave this about a 50% chance of working after meeting Skyler, but it worked really well because he's a good conductor of electricity, which is a bad thing unless, of course, you're doing a science experiment. And then we threw the hair up there. It was kind of a staticky day inside the odd, and uh, I got a shirt out of it. Awesome. Hey. Got some swag from that. Glendale. That is awesome. And then the girls with the signs told them I'd get you in. There you go. All right, Glendale, let's get it. We're talking temperatures. Can't get out without a dab.